Hi, John with eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at the Roadmaster Smart Diode Kit, and it's on our 2022 Chevrolet Equinox. So let's take a closer look at what you need to be able to flat tow down the road like this. Of course, you're going to need your base plate, and that's going to be the physical connection that's actually on your vehicle. Um, this is what we hook up to, uh, and it's going to allow you to start flat towing. Um, you also are going to need um, diode wiring, uh, basically your trailer light wiring. Uh, this is going to be coming from your RV and it's going to transmit the signals to the back of your car for all of the functions that you need. You need a tail lights, turn signals, and brakes. Um, next thing you're going to need, the actual tow bar itself. This links up your RV and the towed vehicle itself. This is going to be the physical connection. Uh, allows you to make turns, tow straight down the road. The fourth item you need to flat tow is going to be safety cables like this. Um, these are here just in the event of a catastrophic failure of one of the big parts, um, either on the RV or on your vehicle. This will keep them linked up. Uh, the very last part you need is going to be a supplemental braking system installed on your towed vehicle. Uh, this will keep you safe and legal, uh, and it will allow both of these vehicles to slow down in a controlled manner. So your diode wiring is going to keep the factory look of your Chevy Equinox here, but it's going to allow your RV to transmit its signals to the back of the car here. So when you're traveling down the highway or around town, people are going to be able to see and know what you're doing. Um, you know, just like your car was driving in front of them. You have your, your right turn, left turn, tail light, and brake circuit all in one, and it looks factory. Now, how do you know if you need regular diodes over smart diodes? Well, um, you're going to need the smart diodes if you have variable voltage LED tail lights. Um, uh, if you have questions about your car, you can either uh, look them up or uh, feel free to call us here at eTrailer. We have experts that can let you know if your vehicle has uh, uh, variable voltage tail lights or not. Now up at the front of the vehicle, um, included in the kit, you're going to have a coiled 7-way to 6-way adapter. Um, this transmits all of the electrical signals that you need uh, from your RV to the vehicle here. It plugs in in the front. Uh, if you want to see how to install the diode wiring kit, we have a video right after this. We installed it on this 2022 Chevrolet Equinox. Stick around. Okay, so to start our wiring video here, we already have the front fascia off because we just got done installing the Demco base plate. Now, um, if you need a base plate, the best, your best bet is going to be to install the base plate first. Otherwise, if you're going to do the wiring, you don't necessarily have to take the whole front fascia off, but it just makes life a lot easier when you're running the wires. Uh, the kit comes with 27 feet of four pole wire. Um, we're going to be running it from here and then up through the engine compartment, uh, then looping back down and ending up at the rear of the car with the tail lights. So I'm going to do that right now and then we'll show you um, the kind of the, the direction that I took. So we took the wire and we left a about a foot or, uh, up here for us because we're going to be doing some wiring with the with the seven way and we came around here. Now we routed this up through the engine compartment here. I left a loop of wire here, so later on we're going to tie into um, the uh, auxiliary braking unit as well. Now, before we run it back down, I went ahead and cut the white wire here. We, we only need to run three wires to the taillights in the back. This is going to give us extra wire that we're going to need back there um, to finish our diode wiring. This way we don't have to buy any extra wire. Um, and as far as this, this is our our ground. We're going to be grounding this probably either at the frame or right directly at the battery here. So we came down the firewall here um, and I went inside this plastic skid pan here, this lower panel. It's just easy. You can take it off. It's 10 millimeter plastic uh, fasteners here and you're able to feed it through and it ran up along the frame and then over the wheel arch. Now when you're routing this, this is just how I did it. You can do it um, uh, probably a few different ways, but you do need to end up at the driver's side tail light. Um, and of course you need to watch out for things like uh, that are sharp or hot or moving while you do that. So it doesn't have to route exactly like I did it here. And I've got a section of nylon tubing and this is going to help me fish the wire up through the body panels here to the rear tail light. Now we're going to need to uh, remove the tail light 
So I've got a small flathead screwdriver and just need to pop that. And that's going to expose the T15 Torx fastener. Now these tail lights actually come straight back out. Um, sometimes they come out easy and sometimes they don't. I know that wiggling helps a lot with these. Okay, so we need to unhook the tail light lens, pull this red tab back and push down on that center clip. That'll remove that. Now I'm gonna fish the wire up through the bottom of the car here. I have a flashlight up here so I can kind of see daylight as I do this and fish this out through the hole. There we go. And this way we can just fish the wire up from the bottom. Now we need to pin out and figure out which wire is going to be the tail light circuit. So I have a test light, I have the running lights on on the car, and we can just go through. So that's the only one that lit up. And that is going to be the white wire with yellow tracer. And this is the wire that we're going to be tapping into for the car input for the smart diodes. Now in the instructions, uh, it will tell you to use the brake circuit uh, for the car input on this. And we found on our Chevy Equinox and some other vehicles as well with variable voltage tail lights, um, once they were hooked up, we were having interference issues. Uh, the lights were not operating as they were intended. So um, we went ahead and tapped into uh, the tail light circuit instead. We actually contacted Roadmaster directly and uh, this is what's going to work for the Chevy Equinox here that has variable voltage tail lights. So instead of the brake, cir brake circuit on the car, we're using the tail light circuit um, and that will do all of the functions that we need uh, when this is being flat towed. Now something to keep in mind here, um, our diodes are going to have double stick tape on the back and they're going to need to be um, installed you know, down and away from the tail light housing when it goes back on. So to gain access, uh, we'll, we'll make our life a little bit easier. We'll peel back some of this uh, protective loom from the factory and we'll tie in probably back here. So here's the final product. This is what it should look like. We're going to have our yellow wire coming in and that's from our RV. That's from the, uh, the four-way flat that we installed up in the front and this will be the RV brake. The brown will be the RV tail light. This also goes to the other side of the vehicle. Uh, the car brake in, this is now the tail light circuit that we've used on this and that'll be the brake in and then the car brake out just goes to the clip. And then of course we have the ground um, that we installed right here on the driver's side. All right, so down here at the bottom driver's side corner of the car, we're going to be running two wires over. It's going to be the brown wire, which is going to be our tail lights, marker lights, and it's going to be the green wire um, that is going to be the right turn and brake. So the wire, the white wire that we stripped off is going to give you enough wire um, to do the job here. This green wire is just going to be too short by itself to run up there. Uh, for video purposes, um, I'm going to go ahead and use color-coded green wire on the green and I'll use the white wire um, for the brown uh, marker lights. So we're going to snip this, run a butt connector, and the butt connector that comes with the kits is just a standard butt connector. Since we're outside of the vehicle out here and it's going to be in the elements, I highly recommend getting some uh, heat shrink butt connectors. So we're going to snip the brown wire here. Remember, this goes up to our uh, driver's side tail light. The reason we're snipping this is that the brown wire here is going to be our tail light wire. 
um, for both sides of the car. And so we're just going to tee in right here. So that we have the same signal go to both the driver's side and the passenger side tail light for us. So this is coming from the RV. And on this side, we'll double up. This is the extra wire that we're going to be running over to the passenger side. Just twist these together. that a tug, make sure it's solid. And this is a larger size butt connector. What I'm going to do is I'll trim back a little bit more wire just to make sure we get a good connection. We'll double the wire over. Connection solid. We'll use a heat source and shrink that up. Now with our connections made, I'm going to run our two wires um, up over the bumper beam here and over to this side. We have a hot muffler here that we want to avoid. All right, so we got our wires uh, fished up through the hole here and we're gonna peel back the tape from the factory so we can get our connection points and we'll repeat everything that we did on the other side. We pinned it out the same way. We turned on the tail lights on the car and over here on the passenger side, that's gonna be the purple circuit. So that will be, the purple circuit will be the tail lights in that goes into the car brake in here and then the car brake out of course goes to your connector. Now as far as the brake, the RV, this is coming from our four-way wiring here. This is the green wire. And then the RV tail lights, this is actually the brown wire. Remember we used the extra uh, wire that we had on our four-way flat wiring and tied into the brown wire. So that'll be the RV tail here. And then of course we have the ground that we installed on the passenger side. The only thing left to do is to reinstall the tail lights. Now we're up at the engine where we're going to make our ground connection. For right now, I'm gonna go right to the battery. I'm gonna use um, a ring terminal. This one wasn't supplied with a kit. It did have a smaller terminal, so if you wanted to make a, a frame ground, you can do that, or you can just get a larger ring terminal like I did and connect directly to the battery. Now we're back at the front of the vehicle. Let's take a closer look at this six-way connector that's included with your kit. You can peel back the rubber boot. And before we do anything else, I just like to put that on the wire so that we don't forget later on. Now on the back here, everything's gonna be labeled um, with the different connections that we're gonna be using. Like today, we will be using the ground, uh, the tail marker lights, and then the left turn and right turn. We're gonna ignore stop today. Um, we don't need it with our four-way flat. Um, and then the center pole is gonna be a charge line for a braking system. Um, and this is in a different video, but we will be installing that today on this vehicle here. We'll just take the wires and peel them back from our four-way four flat. And we can start with the ground. Strip that back. And then take a number one Phillips screwdriver. 
and we're looking for the terminal in here that says ground. I need this one right here. Loosen the set screw. Make sure that your wire is all inside. You don't have any strands that are coming out of there that could cross contact with these other ones. Tighten the set screw, give it a tug, and repeat that for the other wires. So this is what it looks like when we have it all finished. The uh, stop, like I said, where we weren't using, and then the optional uh, charge line for our braking system went in the middle. Otherwise, this is what it will look like when it's complete. Um, and I like to, before I seal everything up and mount it, I like to test this first uh, to make sure that, uh, that our wiring is correct and that uh, there's no problems, at least with our plug, with our, with our taillights at the rear. So we're going to test this. So we're going to use our uh, electrical cord like it would be coming from the RV. Um, but we have a test box. If you want to test your wiring, you don't have a test box. I mean, why would you? We, we, we do, um, but uh, you can just plug directly into your, uh, into your motor home or RV and, um, and just operate the brakes, the turn signals, and the marker lights like you would normally do. With all of our electrical connections hooked up, we can turn on the tail lights. We can check for left turn signal, right turn signal, finally brake lights. And we're good to go. And that was a look at Roadmastered Smart Diode Kit on our 2022 Chevrolet Equinox.